So back to A-list gallery, right? Um, this is a gentleman I met. He's actually a Houston police officer who's interested in arts. And you know, we're all drinking champagne. And this is my wife's avatar. Um, you know, at the time, that's what she looked like. Uh, I was with some artists who were working with some graffiti, and um, essentially sold some pieces. I think people took them home and hung them above their virtual couches in their virtual homes. Mm -hmm. This is mimicry of the real to, to what extent, right? Um, how far does that go? And I, and I think we're, we see, see that in some of what Patrick showed as well. Um, I'll keep going. And so art galleries can look a little bit different. Here's one that's outside. Installations. Uh, Nebulosis Servine is, is, a, is the avatar name of a uh, you know, New York School of Visual Art dropout who now you know, works solely in Second Life. Um, these are some other gallery um, places in Second Life. Here's a, a show of works. Now this, this is uh, work that is you know, from real life. This is taken and put in here. This is cosplay. You guys know what cosplay is. You dress up as anime, manga, manga characters and go to these conventions. Uh, my students are really into this. And so this photographer had taken pictures of these people in their cosplay outfits and had the show in Cycle Life. was co-hosted with a show of um, paintings of furries people making art and exhibiting art uh, with their Second Life avatars, illustration, pretty much any sort of gallery venue you would find in real life. You can also find in Second Life because of that, that, that idea of, of mimicry. Oh, that's, that's a random slide. Uh, and so, like, I was at that particular opening in that gallery space. It was, it's, it's small, but it was filled um, with people. And, and again, this is opening up artists uh, to a global audience. This is a piece from the Health Scala Gallery, where I later showed their sculpture parks. Um, now, these are, are obviously not so much mimicry of the real because these are made with prunes, uh, made in Second Life. Okay, so before I go on to performance, I want to show you um, how I brought my uh, graphic novel into Second Life. Uh, essentially, there's a script that allows me to uh, allows me to take my my book. There we go. There we go. And you can see these on YouTube. I have them hosted there. You can. Uh, find them on my website, anthonyfontana.com. Um, and so here I am, this space over here. This one's actually a spoof of a 1990s Rob Liefeld video, Lee Jeans commercial. If any comic, uh, anybody from the comic book, uh, you know, era remembers that. And so there's my book. This is the space that it sells in. Um, if we had free Wi-Fi here, I would actually be able to take you into Second Life and show you. But you, you essentially can kick, click on the book and read my entire graphic novel in Second Life. You can also attach it to your heads up display and so you get a nice close uh, view of it right in front of you and nobody else can see you reading it. Uh, you can take the camera and zoom in. They're pretty high resolution images so you can get pretty close um, and, and move your camera around and, and really feel like you're experiencing the graphic novel. Uh, you can also get the free t-shirt. You know, the, the gun dog logo uh, is something. So continuing that, the mimicry of the real, I have those t-shirts available too if anybody uh, wants a gun dog logo t-shirt. Um, okay, let's, let's go back to here then. Yes, we know that it's not All right, so um, Patrick talked about performance and experience. Um, and, and he covers, you know, so well a lot of the performative things that are happening in Second Life. There's only one other thing that I'm quickly going to show you, and that is a video by the performance group Second Front. And you can you can Google them; they're Googleable, and you can find all sorts of videos of theirs that I'm not going to show you now. I'll show you one of them, um, and. Uh, you can find out when their next performance is and attend it at Second Life. This one's called 
28 aspects later. And so second front um, usually comes up with a theme. They develop the skins, uh, essentially, you know, the bodies, what, what, what people are going to look like here in some zombies. Any miscellaneous things like uh, the plasma effect of just blood squirting out. Um, and at the current time, you know, Second Life is a, is a platform that streams all its information through the, the broadband, right? Nothing's really stored on your hard drive. And so, you know, the graphics in this are not nearly as good as Sony's home virtual world um, or, or other virtual worlds that are being developed, um, or even World of Warcraft and MMORPGs where, you know, it takes 9 DVDs onto your hard drive to, to have that information. Um, so, you, so you get some very pixelated, cheesy sort of effects, but, but this is very much about the performance and experience. So by dancing, your avatar is doing something, other avatars are the, the screen is moving, okay? Um, and so, you know, a lot of the uh, second front performances involve this dancing aspect. Uh, and, and I have to, I'm going to go ahead and stop that. friends of mine and I have started these random uh, dance parties, um, oops, random dance parties, essentially we walk into a space and what was that, gorilla performance, you were gorilla talking, theater. gorilla theater, you know, that, that's essentially what it is, you're, you're forcing others to sort of react to you, and since dancing is so big in Cycle Life, they have dance clubs everywhere, we're going everywhere that there's not people dancing, and dancing, okay, because we do, you know, I, we're just annoyed by this dance club, well, you know, what's the point of dancing, you know, like just, if you're going to talk, talk, right, we just don't get it, and so we thought, you know, let's make everybody else sort of feel like we feel, if we take the dance party to them, and the other day we, we were actually, we did this, and I don't have much video of it yet, I haven't been video documenting it like, like Second Front does, um, I, I feel like it's, it's more about the experience. And uh, we went to a flea market, you know, where people were buying stuff and started dancing. And then other people started dancing too, but we, we changed our dances to these very strange, like my friend was doing this bird sort of dance, and, and they just got freaked out and left. Um, because we talk in a specific channel, we don't even talk in local, and so they're talking to us and we're just, you know, sort of, uh, walking around. 